Hey everyone, Jason back here for another episode of Jason Reviews. Tonight I'll be reviewing probably one of the more oddball reviews of or diecasts in my collection. Menards sells diecasts of Paul Menard, of course, but in 143rd scale like this one in front of you and 124 scale. But Apparently, they don't have the licensing and rights to use current day Chevrolet bodies, so on the 143rd scale, for example, in front of you, it's on a 2012 Impala body, but with 2016 Chevrolet SS graphics. They did the Sylvania car in front of you, they did the Valvoline car in 143rd, and then they did a Peak Antifreeze car in 124 scale on a 1998 Monte Carlo body with the 2016 graphics. The 143rd scales retail for $6.99 and the 124th for $9.99. They aren't accurate hardly in any way. A lot of people say they're junk. I however say diecast equals reviews equals not a bad price. Buy it anyways. So here we go. I'm not guaranteeing how good this review will be because the sponsors are really small. So here we go. On the front of the box, we have Menards number 27, Sylvania, limited edition. This is 2016 car. Got 143rd scale up here. Top of the box features the Menards Gold Line Collection logo and some gold here. The box is pretty much diamond plate, simulated diamond plate with some accents of gold on it. This side of the box once again features the Menards Gold Line collection Menards number 27 Sylvania limited edition back of the box blank it's in the box has the Gold Line collection logo once again and 143rd scale stock car limited edition adult collectible bottom of the box features your warning barcode and licensing it's distributed by Menards Inc so I don't know who made this. Maybe it's Gold Line Collection. Maybe that's the name of the manufacturer. Who knows? Let's open it up and review this oddball of a car. I mean, I can't complain too bad. It is a fairly well put together die cast, in my opinion. I mean, it's, you know, it's not, it feels kind of cheap, but yet solid, if that makes any sense. So let's start off on the nose, try to get that as close as I can as it rolls towards you. Alright, on the front we have Chevrolet SS, the number 27, and RCR in the corner there. Up on the hood we have Sylvania LED, got the two Chevy bow ties and Menard there on the window banner. For contingencies on the front nose we have Moog, Comp Cam, Edelbrock and Sunoco we have Goodyear above both front tires like it should be on the door panel here we have actually it does say Coors Light pull which is surprising it says that we have mechanic wear we got the SS uh, door vent there racing radios, Flowmaster checkers and 3M got the number 27 Sponsorship behind the number 27, we have Valvoline, Dutch Boy, Richmond. We have the number 27 up on the roof with the simulated bubble cam or whatever. Sponsorship on the roof is Kitty, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Palmenard fans, let me know in the comments below if that's how you pronounce it. I doubt it. Alright, up here we have the American flag and Palmenard and the Wisconsin flag. On the B pillar, we have Safety Clean, Bosch, Sherwin Williams. Guess that's most of them. You can't read some of them. Quarter panel, we have Menards. LG on the C pillar there. Alright, quarter panel sponsors. We have Moen, Target, Peak, Antifreeze, Duracell, Sylvania, and FVP. And I believe that is the Rockstar logo. Could be wrong. Got American Ethanol. Deck lid features Menards, of course. Rear bumper cover. Features Menards, which has got some problems there with paint being chipped off of it. Chevy Bowtie, the number 27. 
passenger side of the car is exactly the same in every way except right there man that's a goof up definitely a goof up man whoever did this see it's solid paint there good paint apparently when they were putting the decals on this one here decided to roll up on it because it's actually you know you know yeah it, that's bad anyways uh got lost uh hey look nipco got uh, kind of lost in the train of thought there but yeah i don't know what I, I i don't honestly know if i'd recommend it if you're a paul menard fan and don't care whether or not it's accurate to what's on track now i'd say definitely pick it up price point is fairly reasonable for it you don't see too many 143rd die casts out there Sure, it's on a 2012 Impala body. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's not bad if you're a Paul Menard fan. I picked it up because it's, of course, like I, you know, a die cast to review. So, but yeah, anyway, this has been Jason doing a die cast review of the Paul Menard 2016 ish Sylvania LED 143rd scale NASCAR die cast Menards exclusive. That's right, you can only pick these up at Menards. No other place sells them, except you can find them on eBay. I don't know if they're any cheaper. They might be a little more money because people will try to sell them for anything nowadays. But yeah, be sure to hit that subscribe button below the video. You can find me on Facebook at JDR Diecast Reviews, Twitter at Jason A Strain, and Snapchat at Dirt Driver Ten. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any new Diecast reviews every Tuesday and Thursday night. Thanks for watching. Have a great night, everyone. Take care, and goodbye.